Hey guys, Kong here. I watched Shin Ultraman, a Japanese film that showed in American theaters. Um, pretty interesting film. Pretty cool kaiju fight scenes. But let's get to the review. Shin Ultraman is a Japanese film that released last year in 2022. And this year it showed in American theaters for two days on January 11th and January 12th. The 11th was the sub version and the 12th was the dub version. I watched the sub version. If you don't know what Ultraman is, it's essentially another form of Power Rangers or Kamen Rider. I grew up watching Power Rangers and Kamen Riders, but not really Ultraman. So I went into this movie not really knowing much. So Shin Ultraman takes place in the same universe as Shen Godzilla, where it's the norm to have kaiju attacks. If you don't know what kaiju is, kaiju is essentially a term or genre for big monsters. Some kaiju film examples would be Godzilla, King Kong, Pacific Rim. The movie starts off with a kaiju attack and it introduces the main cast and main characters, which is the SSSP team. The SSSP team is a special force created specifically to fight these kaijus. They encounter a humanoid that seems to be on the human side because it's fighting these big monsters. They eventually named this humanoid Ultraman. What I enjoyed about this movie is the uniqueness of Japan's special effects and how they portray these kaiju scenes. It kept the old school aspect of Japanese kaiju effects, yet it sort of improved it with modern day technology, which was refreshing to see. The first antagonist introduced had an awesome kaiju fight scene. The special effects were awesome, and there were moments that surprised me in that specific fight scene. So, those are the good things about this movie. Now let's get to the cons, and unfortunately, there's a lot. First, there really isn't a storyline or a solid storyline. They sort of cut this movie into four parts, making it feel episodic. It's like they mushed four episodes into one movie. The first quarter of this movie is an introduction to the characters and the universe. The second quarter, they introduced a character by the name of Zareb. Man, this character was so unique and cool and interesting. The storyline involving this character would have made this movie really good. Zareb's interaction and fight scene was the highlight of this movie for me. However, Zareb's storyline gets done quickly. Then it moves on to the third quarter of the movie where it introduces a third character or antagonist. And then that gets done rather quickly and it quickly turns into the fourth quarter of the movie which now has another new character and antagonist. Because of the constant change of characters and antagonists, it leads to many flaws. The mini storylines go by really quick. There really isn't good character development. You don't really get to know the SSSP team as well or you don't really care for them or any characters in this movie. They try to convey the relations in the SSSP team, but again, it doesn't feel genuine and you don't really care about them. For example, there's these two characters who are buddies. So throughout the movie, they'll say things like, you know, I came to help you because you're my buddy or I'm asking for your help because you're my buddy. But because there's a lack of character development between these characters, you don't really feel like there's a genuine buddy ship. The best way to enjoy this movie is to go in with the intention to enjoy kaiju scenes, not to enjoy the characters or storyline. Overall, I give Shin Ultraman a C. It has pretty awesome Japanese style effects and a pretty awesome kaiju fight scene. But other than that, everything else is not really well done. But yep, that's my review of Shin Ultraman. Again, if you guys like my content, feel free to give a like. Give me your thoughts by commenting down below. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.